Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football heading into the month of June. And a lot of the longtime listeners know exactly what that means. The high school recruiting trail really starting to heat up. Lincoln Riley, USC, wasting absolutely no time getting a ton of top targets on campus this weekend. Want to dive into some of my favorite names that will be visiting USC this weekend. Really excited to get into this one. And for the USC fans who've been rocking with the fellas for what, about a year at this point, I mean, going back to last June in 2023, this is when USC really dug their teeth into that 2024 recruiting class. You're kind of looking for the same thing in the 2025 cycle as well. Fired up to get into it. Before we do, and as always, just want to give a massive shout out to the USC fans. Y'all know I love talking the recruiting trail. You guys know I love talking this USC program on the recruiting trail. The amount of support the USC fans continue to show to the fellas, it truly does mean a lot. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into this one. I'll say if we get any commitments over the weekend, we'll be doing some film deep dives on those commitments Let's start with five-star linebacker Jonah Williams. And again, a kid we have talked extensively about over the last couple of months. My favorite linebacker in this 2025 cycle. And when you look at the modern era of college football and what you want in a linebacker, I mean, it's pretty much Jonah Williams, right? You look at what linebackers are asked to do in this era of college football. Yes, you have to be physical in the box, but you have to be able to operate in space, carry tight ends up the seam. There are so many athletic traits that you need to have at that linebacker position in this era of college football. And you look at Jonah Williams, played a lot of safety at the high school level, but a guy that at 6'3", 205 pounds entering his senior year. You kind of see this kid being 220, 230 at the college football level. I think you are looking at one of the more special athletes at that off-ball linebacker position. And you look at what Dan Lynn and this defensive coaching staff have coveted with this linebacker room. It's athleticism, right? You look at a guy in Matai Togi already committed to USC, long, wiry linebacker that can go sideline to sideline. Jonah Williams very similar vibe. We want our athletic, we want our linebackers at USC flying around, being phenomenal athletes. Jonah Williams, I mean, just fits exactly what you want and what Dan Lynn wants at that linebacker position. And I mean, kind of an interesting storyline to follow with the Jonah Williams recruitment is this kid's also an elite baseball player. And I think the idea of Deuce Robinson also playing baseball at USC and making that work it really could be an asset for USC in terms of getting Jonah Williams committed to USC. This is going to be a heated recruitment. There is pretty much every power five program in the country going after this kid, but USC getting an official visit. That is a very good sign going to another linebacker that again, one of my favorite linebackers in this 2025 cycle, Nathaniel Owusu Boateng from IMG Academy in Florida. This kid, as a Michigan fan, considering Michigan as well, you talked about juiced-up linebackers that just fly around the football field. That's what you get with a guy like Boateng. And you look at the film and say the closing speed is absolutely on another level. And you take a look at this kid at six foot, 205 pounds. He is absolutely put together, and he plays that way on the football field. Big time violence at the linebacker position, the ability to go sideline to sideline, hawk down ball carriers. This guy in that run and chase style of linebacker play, where hey, that guy has the football out in open space. I'm going to just be an apex predator and go close the distance and go grab that ball carrier. That's kind of what you're getting in this kid a freak show of an athlete, a guy that I think can give you some juice rushing off the edge as well. One of my favorite, one of the more intriguing prospects in this 2025 class, also on campus for USC. And again, you're seeing the kind of linebacker that USC wants. We want big time athleticism at that position going to the next one on this list. And I'll just say it, it kind of Jacoby Lane vibes. And you're seeing USC go all over the place, right? We talked about Jonah Williams from Texas, talk about Nathaniel Wusu Boateng from IMG Academy in Florida. Now CJ Wiley in the state of Georgia, that has been something Lincoln Riley has really emphasized is recruiting nationally at USC. And you get into CJ Wiley, a couple of things that you really like. One, let's just talk about the pure production at the high school level, big time football in the state of Georgia, 68 catches for 1400 yards, 14 touchdowns, average 22 yards 
per catch. You start getting into the physical traits and say 6'4", 200 pounds, runs a 10-9 in the 100-meter dash. When you can get a wide receiver that is that big with that frame, that can run that fast, that is just a matchup nightmare for opposing defensive backs, a guy that really can attack that deeper third. And when you turn on the film, you kind of do see the Jacoby Lane vibes. When that football is in the air, and CJ Wiley is very comfortable going up, making the play on the football, has that long speed to really challenge defensive backs, attacking that deeper third. I am a big fan of CJ Wiley who has – I mean, all the physical traits in the world, but then has done it at an extremely high level in the state of Georgia. C.J. Wiley, another name to keep in mind. And let's get into uh, probably the most intriguing prospect that we're going to talk about and that will be on USC's campus. And going back to the state of Texas, four-star athlete Nick Townsend. Now, this is a guy that could legitimately play three different positions at an exceptional level at the college level. You look at the tight end position, this is a guy that 18 catches – 431 yards, seven touchdowns. He could play edge rusher. I mean, 11 and a half tackles for a loss, eight sacks. He could play off ball linebacker because he has the athleticism and speed to do that as well. Now, if you're asking me, I probably like him at that edge rusher position the most because at the end of the day with Nick Townsend, this is one of the elite athletes that you see in this 2025 class. And quite frankly, if there was a more clear picture in terms of what position he'd play at the college level, I bet his ranking would be a little bit higher. But you look at that edge rusher position, what do we value the most at that spot? We value freak show athletic, athletic traits. And that is exactly what Nick Townsend brings to the table. I mean, the movement skills, the functional movement patterns he has for someone at 6'3", 240 pounds, Really, really long arms, has power in his hands. You see him challenge offensive tackles in terms of having that burst and bend, attacking outside shoulders, but you also see him just get right into the chest of offensive tackles and walk them right into the lap of the quarterback, a guy that can win just from a multitude of different ways, a really raw player because he just plays all over the field. You get him on the campus, you have him focus on one position. That's where I think he's really going to take his step. And Going to the offensive line, something that we have talked about extensively for USC going into the Big Ten, got to have those kind of bodies. You look at this kid from Bishop Corman, I'm going to give my best attempt, and I googled how to say the name. I'm probably going to mess it up. Alai Kalani Valu from Bishop Gorman. And you look at Bishop Gorman, they have three offensive linemen in Douglas Utu and SJ that... I mean, all of these guys are top 200 national prospects and all of these guys you watch on the film and just say, I feel so good about them making that transition from the high school ranks to the college level. They might not have the tremendous upside that you see certain offensive linemen have, but you kind of just say those guys are going to be starting caliber players at the college level and at the offensive line position Yes, you can bet on traits, and I I certainly – we always talk about betting on physical traits with these high school guys, but at the offensive line position, you want to hit on your offensive lineman because that's a position that's really hard to address in the transfer portal, right? If you miss on a wide receiver that you were betting on physical traits for and it didn't really pan out, you can go grab some wide receivers in the portal. You look at the offensive line and say it's a very difficult position – to address in the transfer portal. So you want to make sure you're hitting with your recruits on the offensive line from the high school ranks. And you look at a guy in Alai and say, this guy is just going to be a damn good offensive lineman for USC. If he ends up winding up there, he plays center, should could certainly play guard as well. I think this would be a massive get for USC. And I look them to turn up the heat on all three of those Bishop Gorman offensive linemen because I think – All three of those guys can certainly play. You talk about why Bishop Gorman was the best high school program in the country. It started with having some absolute dogs up front. Last offensive lineman I want to talk about, and we just talked about a really buttoned up prospect that you just kind of feel good is going to be a solid player. Here's a little bit more of a projection. In four-star offensive tackle Aaron Dunn at 6'8", 290 pounds, displays Really good athleticism for that size, and that's something really rare when you're talking about this big of offensive linemen. You normally see these big frames that are really attractive, but they're not necessarily the best athletes. You look at Aaron Dunn and say, phenomenal feat for a big man like he is. Averaged 17 points on the hardwood during the winter. This is a basketball player. You see the basketball feet show up 
on 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 Friday nights in the fall, I should say. I I'm a big fan of Aaron Dunn as well. A little bit more of a projection, a little bit more of a you're betting on traits because the play strength probably needs to improve. But a guy that talking about six eight, three hundred pounds, the way he moves it, that's the physical traits that we do want to bet on. Those are the guys that are standing out to me the most. You also have some commitments on campus. A guy like Hilton Stubbs committed to USC, going to be on campus. USC is going to want to make sure he, they just continue to lock him down, right? He's committed to USC, but you know Florida, Florida State, Miami, they are not going to give up on a guy like Hilton Stubbs, one of my personal favorite safeties in this 2025 class. Can go a long way in making sure you sure up his commitment. Those are my favorite prospects on campus for USC. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. As always, we get commitments. We'll be breaking down the film. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. We'll talk to y'all later.